Ever since Midjourney released style codes for version 6, people everywhere have been looking for style codes to add a very particular look to their images. But on top of that, people everywhere have not only been sharing them, but cataloging them so that other people can use these codes on Midjourney. So today I'm going to share five resources where you can find Midjourney style codes. The first is a Midjourney themed YouTube channel named Thane. And the way it works is they have these videos here with the style codes in them, which is actually incredibly handy, even a favorite style codes video. So if I click on this video, the style codes get showcased to us on YouTube. You can see these images popping up with the style codes down the bottom and the prompt. So it's a nice, simple, easy way to sit back and discover codes while watching a YouTube video and you can apply them pretty easily. So if I take the code for this image, which is 137, I can head into mid journey. If I wanted to use this prompt here, I can click use prompt, add in dash dash SREF 137, hit enter. We then get some very cool images reminiscent of the one we saw in the video. But if you take the same prompt and you wanted to increase that style, you can give it a style weight by typing in dash dash SW and cranking it up to the maximum value of 1000, 100 being default. So you can go lower if you want to lower it. I hit enter on a thousand. And we've been able to dial that visual style of 137 up to maximum. So there's a link in the description for the Thane YouTube channel and the videos go up to 899. And basically you've got about 900 codes from these videos you can try. The next one I'd be doing self a disservice if I didn't mention, which is my style sheet on creatorimpact.com. There is a link in the description below, but essentially I share the first sort of zero to 30 and I go through and have cat cataloged a whole bunch of these codes that you can try all on the homepage or you can come up the top here and explore some galleries. So if I went for digital and 3D, we have some 3D styles here along with some other digital art styles as well. So if I decided I want to try this style here, again, I can just highlight this code, right click, copy. Again, I just add it to the end of my prompt and we get these really nifty 3D style stylized images. But another tip is if I have this same code here again from these images and I add a space and I'm going to type in the same code we got from the Thane YouTube channel. If I have two codes separated by a space and it will combine those styles together and we're able to produce some very different mixed style images pretty effectively. The next one is the AI IQ portal, which actually has a premium source of codes you can check out, but you can also see other codes on the page here below and there's even a visual index so you can actually sample what it is they have. So this is a nice resource of codes you can also try and if you want it even more you can also try that premium product. They haven't approached me, I'm not sponsored by them, I just wanted to mention that in case there was something you're interested in. But if we take this style and copy it, we get these really unique looking images when added to the prompt we've been using so far. But coming back to that prompt, we can still add in our previous code and 137 before it. But the next tip I'm going to share with you is that you can also add strength to these codes. So if I wanted this middle code to be a strength of 2, this new code to be a strength of 1.5, and 137 to be a strength of 1, all I need to do is add double colon and then a number, 1 being the default. So going lower, we'll play it down and going higher, we'll dial it up. So we can actually weight the strength of these codes pretty effectively by simply adding like a word weight or an image weight at the end. So that way, when we submit, we've now been able to mix three styles and dial the strength of each individual style up or down. So that's a pretty handy tip when working with style codes. And remember, there's a link in the description, all these resources that I'm sharing. The next is midjourneysref.com. And one of the most unique things about this is it has about 200 codes, but you can filter at the top here. So if I wanted some manga art, I can filter through and find manga art there. If I wanted some photography, you get these cool photography styles I can try. On top of that, if I click on the code, I get the images individually as well as the prompts so I can actually dive a little bit deeper. So once again, I copy the code, head back to Midjourney, and I get some more fun and interesting images in that style. But another tip is if I use this prompt, including this SREF, and I scroll down, if I wanted to take this style of image, even though it was generated with a style code, I can still drag it into here, click the paperclip icon, 
hit enter. And now I've gotten some more interesting images again in a unique style by combining a style code with an image. And this could be an image you upload or an image you've generated using other style codes. The final source where you can find a lot of style codes for Midjourney is actually x.com, formerly known as Twitter. Now I'm gonna share some profiles you can check out, but also if you just head up to search, type in sref, hit enter, you will find people sharing codes with their images. And this is another great way to see what results people have been getting out there online. And once again, there are there's links to all these in the description, including the profiles I'm about to share. The first one is Tatiana, often shares mid-journey tips and also shares a lot of style codes, including ones she has mixed together. So that's a great resource of style codes for mid-journey users. Next is Ege. I'm not sure if I'm getting these names right, but he also shares a lot of mid-journey codes that you can check out. So if you're on x.com, I highly recommend following these guys if you want to keep getting codes just sort of dropped into your feed. Also, Ailey Jules shares a lot of mid-journey codes, but also summarizes the office hours pretty regularly. So that's a great way to get the mid-journey office hours in pretty quickly and easily in a tweet, but shares a lot of really cool mid-journey style codes and tips. Oscar AI also shares a lot, has some great images and mid-journey prompts as well. And again, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but Gizem shares a lot of prompts and codes. So you can also try these out for yourself along with other tips for working in mid journey. But these aren't all of the people on X or Twitter sharing these codes. These are just the people I found who I think share a lot of codes and do a great job at engaging with mid journey and sharing tips to their audience. So I highly recommend checking them out again. Links are in the description below. My final tip, takes place in discord and that is for discovering style phrases you can use from style codes that is type in slash describe click on image upload your image and add in one of the images you made with your style codes hit enter and this is a good way to get mid journey to describe what it sees from the style you're using for example if i copy this prompt type in slash imagine paste it in I can then remove the bits and pieces I don't think contribute to the style. And then change the subject to a beautiful cyberpunk frog with spiky hair wearing colorful butterfly face paint covered in rhinestones on his skin or his skin. Hit submit. And although these images aren't identical, I've been able to discover something really unique and create some pretty interesting images with this prompt template. So if you're looking for more styles, check these platforms out, linked to in the description below. Hope you have a lot of fun with this as I did and uh, let me know how you go. Otherwise, that's the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.